What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I decided to do something a little different this time and make it a little more personal. And I'm gonna show you around my house for a second before we go rip. Hopefully it's not gonna rain and I've got maybe an hour of sunlight. I have actually more like two hours. Uh, you can see I've got a dumpster back there in the middle of my yard because I had so much crap in my basement, like old antique furniture and all this crap, and I just finally got to throw it away. Uh, we built this ramp for my dad because we were hoping he had to have his leg amputated prior to him passing, and we had, uh, and I had this built for him, and of course he didn't end up using it, unfortunately. But I have a double door entrance, which is kind of cool. I had hardwood, I hope is, there's enough light in here, it's not very lit. But um, this is my living room. This is, oh, like the camera's right in my face. This is my little office area. This is where I do my gaming jam. I have like a custom built, like water cooled gaming machine that I built. And this is where I like to nerd out and game at night because I do like to, to jam out to some games. My quad room, and this is, uh, I have like these two little tables. They're kind of like old painting tables that you get at like Home Depot or something. But I, I use that to do all my soldering and building on. And of course back here I have uh, all my RC cars stacked on old Bitcoin mining racks. I used to have a bunch of video cards strapped to this and I was mining Bitcoin for a long time. But anyway, uh, it used to be super messy. I kind of cleaned it up. Okay, many of you guys have asked me about my Rick and Morty arcade cabinet and here it is running. I have never really showed it that much. I kind of showed it a little bit on Instagram. It's kind of, it's together and it's all the scripts are written. It's, it's a, basically a PC running hyperspin with custom scripts that I wrote. And you got your control panel here, here with Rick and Morty coming out of the portal. Uh, I have these little holes drilled here. These are going to be coin buttons uh, uh, at some point, but right now I have it bound to here. I have a whole custom vinyl for the sides. I just haven't put it on. <laughs> it's in my closet. And I, I don't know if you guys can see because of the lighting, but there's blue tea molding here. It's like a dark blue that goes across here. That needs to go here. You can see like wood and like over splash of the primer and stuff showing, but that, this will all be covered all the way down. It's kind of an eyesore. It's not done yet and that's why I haven't really showed it, but I'll show you guys a little bit how it works. I'm gonna back out here. So this is the main screen. It basically has every system on it. Every game for every system that you can imagine. I'm sorry if it's really loud, by the way. Dreamcast, man. But anyway, so if I were to go into, let's say, MAME, that's my favorite. You go in here, and then you have all the sub menus for all the games. All the arcade games. But anyway, tons of games. I literally don't even know what I have. But pretty much every game that's ever made for anything. But anyway, this is uh, my arcade machine. But here's how cool, I have a little, uh, another cool thing, I have a little control panel up here that you can't see, but it's up top. And if you hold this down, it will turn the computer off, as you see. These buttons should turn off, yeah. And then there's still power to the cabinet, and I have a switch up here that just kills power to the cabinet, cuts off the monitor. Anyway, it's not looking too hot out here. You can see it's uh, pretty overcast. Looks like it could rain at any moment, but forecast says it's not gonna rain, so hopefully it doesn't. But we're still gonna go rip because I have very little time to rip these days and it kind of sucks. I only have two GoPros and one of them is dead. So hopefully I can not kill the one that I have. So let's go. Dude, I ran out of sticker decals, so I don't have one for this rear one. It feels naked. Any -E KKID. Wait, I'm not supposed to show off secret stuff. It's just a hydro dip of the new frame. Well, they're, they're worried that if I show it off that China's just like, cause they're just constantly watching my videos and they are ready to duplicate some shit. Yeah, this is it. It's basically a modified QAVR that is true X, comes with the bottom plate, comes fully hydro dip. And I don't know how in the heck they hydro dip it in the way that they do, because even inside the screw holes is hydro dip. So I have no clue how that's physically possible, but I'll show you some shots of it so we can see what it looks like in the wild. By the way, my Patreon, that is actually what you get in the top tier. What is it called? I forgot what I call a uh, thing. I think I called it Skywalker or whatever because I was doing this whole space thing and I thought it was kind of clever. This is the unannounced hydro dip frame that I was talking about in a sick. Hopefully we have enough daylight to fly and hopefully we don't get poured on because that does not look welcoming. 
but that looks nice and juicy. All right, let's rip. So I was flying over the crane and it inverted, stalled, and just I had, I had no control over it. I don't know if it was a fail safe or what, but this quad's been acting kind of funky for a little while and I keep flying it in sketchy spots. Anyway, I fell forever so long that I tried to rearm it like 20 times. And of course I hit the ground and landed inverted. I can arm it, which I guess is okay, which means it's still alive, but I don't have turtle mode set up on it. And you would think, this is the only quad that I don't have turtle mode set up on, and you would think I would have learned my lesson from the video where I got stuck on the roof to set up freaking turtle mode, but I just keep forgetting to do it if you guys haven't seen my patreon go check it out i want to do this full time as i've mentioned before and there's some cool tiers on there you can get some gear out of it the final tier you can get the hydro dipped uh, frame that you just saw earlier anyway um it's getting dark and i'm gonna wrap this up and i'm just tired and hopefully you guys were able to escape with me because that's what i do this for and obviously please like and subscribe and comment and share and stay tuned for the next one take care guys